My name is Stacey Bunch Harrison, and I have the fortunate pleasure of presenting the Barbara Faust Award. Uh, about eight years ago, um, we, we lost Barbara Faust, and we created an award to honor a um, consumer of RHD services that we support uh, to honor their creativity, their strength of spirit, and their courage. And uh, she stood on this stage, an artist, a, a singer, and she shared her talents with all of us. Um, I would love to bring up some folks that uh, wrote nomination letters for this year's recipient. And uniquely, it's typically you know one person that nominates uh, uh, someone who we support. This year, two folks did. Two folks did. This individual is supported, um, and by Mandela, which is one of our residential programs, as well as he participates in a, one of our arts-based day, arts day programs called OASIS. So I'm gonna ask, because I think they can do much better justice in describing our, our recipient, Edwin Carrillo. <laughs> So Kay Lynn is from Oasis, and I'm going to hand the microphone over to her, and she's going to share some words about Edwin. Um, this is Edwin, and Edwin is truly transformed. He's transformed because we have a visionary leadership team that facilitates his joy and my joy. This is why I work here. Did you see those people lifting him up? That's what we do, lift each other up. I'm sorry, I'm a cheese ball. <laughs> but uh, I don't have any other words other than I'm so grateful, Edwin, to be with you. Hi. Um, Actually, Frank Gayton was the one that wrote the nomination for Edwin. But um, at the Mandela program, we all echo um, the, his feelings in regard to the progress that Edwin had made in our program. When Edwin came to our program, he was uh, very sickly. Um, Self-esteem was a little bit low and suffering from severe depression. And throughout the years, it was going to be almost 10 years that he came to our program and Edwin had actually showed us that there's, um, when you have determination, you can conquer anything. Um, Edwin, throughout the years, had developed his own business. He has a recycle business where he actually goes in the community, collects his cans. Um, actually, the neighbors save all the cans for him, and he actually cash that for money. At this point, he's saving money to uh, a trip to Puerto Rico. Um, he went to Puerto Rico a few years ago, and he enjoyed it so much that he wants to go back. He has family there that he wants to reach. So he had determined himself that he is going to start putting money away towards this goal. And part of the explanations that we have been giving to Edwin is that now we feed for service. Um, by the way things are at this point, it's really hard to actually make a trip like that come through. So with our help, with his own um, development of his job, he's actually putting money away to make this uh, a, a goal that he will reach this summer. And I'm hoping that we all work together to try to assist him in, in this goal because he wants to be able to go there and enjoy himself. Um, Edwin also has a little dog. Um, actually, I gave him that dog for his birthday. And it's real funny because he brought that dog, uh, he actually brought home a pit bull <laughs> that he bought out in the street. And um, we kind of took him into getting rid of it. And then he came back home with a second one. So in negotiating with Edwin, I actually committed to get him Bonita, who is uh, his uh, new puppy. And this puppy actually had become an intricate part of his life. Um, he takes her everywhere he goes. He actually cares for her, and he's really loving, and this dog actually had fulfilled that need for love and, and caring. 
So I'm very proud of Edwin. I think that Edwin had reached out levels that we didn't think that he was going to be able to reach. And uh, at the Mandela program, we are completely, fully proud of him. Edwin is 100 times 100 Puerto Rican. Very proud of his culture. <laughs> so he said he's 100 times 100 Puerto Rican. So uh, we are trying to uh, work with Edwin to, to reach out to his community, to, to continue enriching people with his, what he has to bring to them because he has a lot to give. So the Mandela program is highly, highly proud of him. I would like to just say something. Um, Edwin started at Oasis about 10 years ago. Um, he kind of went to the wayside a little bit, kind of did some other things, but he has recently come back. And in the year that he's come back, not only has he done some amazing artwork that you can see in the back, but he has also taken on um, a new personality. He is actually teaching people. He is teaching people how to knit, how to do printmaking. Um, <laughs> I am just really proud. You want to say something? Um, <laughs> I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> I'm really very proud of Edwin, and um, he makes our program amazing. And, I'm really happy that we have him in our life at Oasis. <laughs> <laughs> so Edwin, you've been um, obviously an inspiration not only to the people who support you, but I know to all of the, re all of the residents as well as the folks that attend Oasis. And you're an inspiration to everyone in this room. So congratulations. I would like to tell you what, you've, what, you, what will happen for you, okay? You will have um, a plaque with your name inscribed. It's already on there. Edwin Carrillo, 2011, recipient of the Barbara Faust Award. On the inscription, it said this is presented annually to the RHD consumer who best exemplifies Barbara's spirit and courage, which was Barbara's legacy. Obviously, we've heard that's what Edwin's about. So the other, uh, we have a goodie bag of, there's an RHD blanket, keep you warm at night. And I think one of the most, uh, one of the coolest things in the bag is an envelope with a check for $250. <laughs> so hopefully that helps make your dreams come true. So I don't know if, Edwin, if you'd like to say something. I'd like to give you a... <coughs> um, for sure. Can you please come up? Bob Fisher, can you please come oh, up? Bob Fishman. Bob Fishman. I would like to say that Thank you for coming here and and um and support me through this and support me to end this chat for two hundred. And fifty dollars, and 
And I thank you for. <laughs> Thank you for getting me an appointment. To live. I want you to be in being by my Thank you, Edwin. And once again, what we're saying today is thank you, Edward, for joining us in this garden, because you're enriching it. Thank you. Thank you.